Welcome back everyone. In one of my recent videos, I was using Ableton Move to play some of these hardware synths that I've got here. And a few of you have asked how I set up Ableton Move as a MIDI controller to play the hardware synths. It's pretty straightforward really, so I'll just show you how I've got Move set up as a MIDI controller in Ableton Live to control my external synths. So if we go up to settings, and as you can see my audio interface here is this UMC 404 HD. That's the audio interface I'm using at the moment. If we look at the input configuration, I've got mono inputs 3 and 4, that's mic and guitar, and stereo inputs 1 and 2 which is the actual stereo outputs from this mixer that all the synths go into. So now if we look at the MIDI section, if we look at the outputs here, these are all the hardware synths I've got in the studio at the moment. And if you look at the control surfaces and the inputs, I've got Move set up as a control surface. Now this is quite important because Ableton Move doesn't integrate with Ableton the way Push does. You have to set it up as a actual MIDI controller, as a control surface. So coming out of there, we've got a MIDI track and an audio track. The audio track here, I've got the outputs one and two, and I've got it set to auto. So that will just hear everything that comes from channel one and two. So on the MIDI channel, if I go to the output drop down, you can see I've got all my synths listed there. So I'm gonna choose the pro one, and that's set to channel one. And it's as simple as that. So if I just play the move now, it'll actually play the Pro 1 and I'll be able to hear it through that audio channel. And that sits really cool. As you can see, there's virtually no latency at all there. So that's it. That's how I've got Ableton Move set up as a MIDI controller for my external synths. Now, you're probably going to have a lot of questions, so ask me in the comments and I'll be really happy to answer anything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.